Now, before you even think about buying this drone, there are at least five things, six in this video, that you need to think about and really consider before the release date on March 2nd. Number one, get yourself in a drone simulator. I use Drone Racing League in Steam, so I use my MacBook for that. There are plenty of others out there you can use on console, so I'll link those in the description below. Now, I will say for the FPV pilots that have joined us here, one of the big parts of FPV is really getting to grips with your controller, but unfortunately, it's a brand new controller. Well, it looks like a brand new controller, so you can't do that. Next up, DJI Care Refresh is something you will need because you will crash. Hands down, you will crash. So when you make your purchase, I highly recommend you buy Care Refresh with it because it will be cheaper when you make that purchase. And any pilot, it doesn't matter which mode you're using, you will crash this drone, especially if you go into what could be considered acro or full FPV mode. Then you have the batteries, which will not last long. So leaked specifications say a 20 minute battery life, but then again, there are three modes in this drone. There's your normal mode, sport mode, and acro mode, which is full FPV. So this uh, battery here is about $25 and will last you about three to five minutes. It's a 1550 milliamp battery. I mean, at the moment, we don't know how long this DJI battery is gonna last in its full acro mode, but what I recommend is you get more than one battery when you make this purchase. Next is the maintenance and diagnostics of typical FPV drone usage. So that's one of the biggest barriers to entries in typical drone usage or FPV usage is that you'll have issues and you may have no idea what it means. It's almost like working through Morse code. You actually have to work through beeps to try and figure out what the issue is. And while there are a ton of really helpful tutorials out there, if DJI can make this much, user, much more user-friendly, this will be huge and is really something to consider before making this purchase, or at least before you decide whether you wanna go with a cheaper non-DJI format or go with a DJI format. And trust me, if time is not something you have on your side, I would go with whatever, I would pay a little bit more for whatever makes this more simple for you. The amount of hours that are, genuinely, the amount of hours that I've spent trying to work through issues on my FPVs is just not worth it for me. Then is, is something that's loved about typical normal FPV is that because you don't have GPS systems built in, you can fly anywhere you want without being regulated because you're flying on GPS. So unlike, DJI drones where you have GPS and you can only fly in certain areas, you don't get that with your typical FPV. But that may all change as DJI release this drone. They may also include GPS, which may mean that you kind of remove that aspect, which is a huge benefit to flying FPV. So those are the five tips. And then the final one is just know your ability. Find open spaces. I mean like truly open spaces. You will crash this drone, you will fly into things, you will panic while you're flying. So make sure you have open space around you when you're going out to practice. So there you go, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, maybe consider subscribing. Otherwise, I will see you after release second when this drone finally comes in. All right, thank you for joining.